Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ms. Nogundi, D-I-V-A, a divine inspired vibrantly anointed artist. Listen, <laughs> do not underestimate how slick the enemy can be when he comes with his counterfeit offers. The counterfeit and the enemy slick. The higher your discernment, the more close to what you prayed for, more convincing the counterfeit looks. So let me say this again in a different way. Like when you are, I'm just, you know, I'm just realizing God, I, I just, I was walking and God was like, God was saying to me, the counterfeit is slick. The counterfeit is slick. Watch out. The higher your discernment is, the counterfeit will look exactly like what you prayed for. But there will be a one minor detail that tells the entire story about the fact that this is actually a counterfeit. The counterfeit always goes with and meets the, the level of your discernment if it's going to be a counterfeit it's not and you have high discernment it's not going to be obvious that it's a counterfeit if you have low discernment it's going to be less detailed but if you have high discernment and well trained and experienced discernment it's going to the, the counterfeit is going to have high detail it's going to look like what you desire. It's going to look like what you prayed for, but there's going to be a teeny tiny detail that tells the actual true story of what is going on. Examine very closely what comes during this time. Examine what comes and looks like the real thing during this time. Have questions that you're going to ask everything that looks like a blessing. There are tests that it must pass. There are standards that it must live up to. There are reasonabilities that it must pass and live up to. And if there's one thing that's just out of place, take a step back. I have just come out from a situation where I prayed for something and literally the next day it, it showed up. Something that looked exactly like it showed up. And I thought it was the real thing for a while until I got quiet. And I said, why am I having to grovel for this Lord? Why does it feel like there's so much resistance about me getting this thing? Uh, and why am I having to follow up as this much? As if I'm begging for it. And God took me back to a number of things. He said this, the blessing of the Lord is easy and brings with it no sorrow. If you have to exert, if you have to push, if you have to try and compete so that you come out first, if you have to do all of that exertion it is not the blessing of the lord and then he pointed out one little teeny tiny detail that i'd forgotten about which is something that really matters to me that should i get this this must not be part of it and he said look it's the whole thing that you wanted but it's got the thing that one single thing that you don't want it's not it everything else looks like it but there's a cup that one thing lets you know that this is not it and then he began to reveal other things one thing after another and it's like are you really happy about that are you really happy about this are you really happy about that and I realized that in some parts I was willing to compromise a little and be like okay well 
let I can I, I can take it with that dent or with that defect. Okay, it's fine because I really wanted the thing. But God says the blessing will not require you to compromise. The blessing will not require you to grovel and push and shove and 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 and, and push against resistance. It's easy. It drops on your lap like it literally fell from heaven and you didn't have to do anything from it. It has this quality of it comes easy and it's almost embarrassing because you're like, man, people work for this and it just got handed to me. That's the nature of the blessing. So in this season, watch the counterfeit. It's slick. The devil's slick. The higher your discernment, the higher the details. Look for the thing that's out of place. Heed.